When project plans call for breaking an edge, all that means is softening the edges and corners. And there's a couple of good reasons for doing that. One, broken edges just feel better to the touch. One of the first things people do to a handmade woodworking project is to feel it, and soft edges prove attention to detail. But there's another good reason for breaking edges. Sharp edges and corners on a workpiece are more brittle and prone to splintering. So knocking off those edge and corner fibers makes them more resistant to scuffs and dings because they can't splinter. I use three different tools for softening edges. A trim router with a chamfering bit, a block plane set for a very light shaving, and a sanding block. And all three options work great. But if you use a trim router, set the bit for a shallow depth of cut. Just a sixteenth or an eighth of an inch is all you need. Not every edge needs a great big quarter inch round over, and a small chamfer provides a subtle and elegant detail. A block plane is another good tool for breaking edges, and it gives you just as much control as a trim router. When I'm breaking edges with a block plane, I hold the plane at about a 45 degree angle to the edge, and I count the number of strokes I take so that all of my edges all the way around will look the same when I'm done. Set the tool for a very light shaving, and it'll do a neat job on both edge and end grain. And then there's always a good old sanding block. And when I'm using one of these to break edges, I put fine grit sandpaper in it, and I use the tool the same way as I use my block plane, counting my strokes. Breaking edges using one of these three tools is a great way to give every edge the attention it deserves. Just be subtle about it. All you're doing is making those sharp edges and ends go away. Now, if you like tricks like these, you can see all of our new tricks videos, plus lots more, more on the web video content by subscribing to our YouTube channel and liking us on Facebook. Thanks for watching.